All right, so the opening ceremonies have just ended. A lot of athletes, coaches, everybody's leaving. We, are st we were up in the stands and watching the opening ceremonies, seeing this man up there, up, the, up at the podium. And you were the MC today? Yeah, I had the pleasure of emceeing the opening ceremonies, which was a lot of energy and a lot of fun, and um, got to see a lot of old friends from uh, Arctic that I haven't seen in a while. All right. So for our viewers, our listeners, can we just get your name and where, where are you from? Yeah, my name is Philip Blanchett, and I'm from uh, originally from Bethel, Alaska. I live here in, uh, in Anchorage, Alaska, and uh, I'm primarily a musician yeah. with a group called Bumua. Um, but I actually I recently got a role in True Detective, uh, the HBO True Detective show, as uh, Ryan Kautok. And so you can check that out on season four. Oh, no way. Okay, and you're emceeing at the Arctic Winter Games. Tell us, how did you, get, how did you land this role? Well, uh, my band is performing here at Arctic Winter Games on the um, on 14th, and it's part of the cultural, you know, performances and hosting and uh, showcasing Indigenous culture, Alaska culture here. Yeah. And so we're um, excited about doing that, and and I'm actually emceeing the Arctic Sports all week, yeah. and emceeing the opening ceremonies, the closing ceremonies. Like I'm just here. I'm committed to the for the entire week for oh, Arctic man. Winter. They have you really working hard here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, is this your first Arctic Winter Games? No, my first Arctic Winter Games was in 96 when it was in uh, Eagle River. And my band, Bumio, was performing there and I actually was competing in Arctic sports. And so since then I've competed in uh, three other Arctic sports, in White Horse, in uh, Wood Buffalo, and in Kenai. And uh, we performed um, as well um, in Iqaluit when the games were there. Yeah. And so Arctic Winter is like one of the, you know, it's one of those special events that you know, has a you know, close, special place in our hearts. And, and, you know, we, like I said, we have so many friends that over, over the years that mm -hmm. we're just kind of like family. You know, oh, we get to wow. see each other. So for you, the Arctic Winter Games is very important. For, for the entire Arctic, you know, it's like representation of the entire community. And, you know, you people down south, you know, the, where the you know main population is, they, they don't really understand a lot of northern, con you know, culture. Yeah. And, and so there's a lot of questions and a lot of, you know, we have a vibe. And so when we're together, we're able to celebrate that and, and, you know, we're able to compete and push each other, but also showcase and learn about each other's cultures. And um, we all understand the importance of, you know, you know, connecting and, mm. and you know, the indigenous connection that we, we are so proud of in the north. Yeah. And so we're, we all get that. And so here, the non-native community, you know, is, is there supporting, you know, the indigenous community and, you know, indigenous community is involved in supporting the entire event. And so Arctic Winter is unique in that sense that it, in, in, you know, it really includes the, the heritage of the, the land and the people. So it's, yeah. a, it's a special kind of celebration. And it sounds like it's bridging worlds together. Yes, it definitely bridges worlds together. And then it's also been around for ever, it seems like, you know, <laughs> like there's people who have been here, you know, for so long and and like there's elders, you know, in our native communities, we have elders that we um, that we pay so much res respect for. And and this the games has its own traditions. And it's really fun to to learn about the you know, the cultures here with the chefs and, the you know, all of the. Mm. The, you know the pumps and circumstance and stuff, but um, really it's just about you know the, giving the youth an opportunity to um, experience you know such a broad sense of community mm -hmm. and for the you know the us older people to be able to enjoy in that as well and and to kind of like um, uh, celebrate our youth because yeah. you know we're alive we're here we're fresh and so we got to keep keep bringing it. And what are you looking forward to uh, this week? Um, I, I'm going to be emceeing the Arctic Sports, and uh, I've never done that before, so I'm really looking forward to um, doing that, but also watching the you know the athletes. Ar Arctic Sports. I still, I still compete and still train. I'm 49, and I, I still love the games. It's what keeps me motivated to stay healthy, to eat right, to you know, to you know practice my dancing. It's yeah. it's all connected, and so I want to keep jumping, keep flying as long as I can, and um, keep showing the um, younger generation that we got to. We don't have to stop after high school. Mm -hmm. You know, we can still keep up our and maintain our sense of um, our dreaming mm -hmm. and that um, that part of ourselves that makes us want to um, achieve things that we haven't achieved. So um, just seeing that um, in the young people and seeing them achieve their best, it's that's what I'm excited for. All right. Well, thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks.